Hi folks, it's Graham here from Badlands Guitars in Brighton. Don't know if you can see. Yes, uh, that's us there. Get out of the way, you. Sorry. There it is. And this is Josh Allen. And today we're looking at another Fuji Gen FGN Classic. We're going to be breaking some boundaries here tonight. <laughs> this afternoon, this evening, I don't know what it is. We've lost track because we've done 137 videos in the last hour. <laughs> um, no, that's this, a fact, <laughs> Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. not a true fact, but yeah. it's a fact. Yeah. Uh, this model is the Boundary. It's the Odyssey Boundary, which is, for want of a better word, it's the entry level one, but I hate to use the word entry level because it's way beyond an entry level guitar. Because of the quality it of this It is thing. a very, very, very good intermediate guitar. Yes. And, and that's doing it any justice, to be perfectly fair. Totally Japanese, made all Japanese in every respect, Japanese hardware, and these are the Japanese pickups. Um, in the higher end models they put Seymour Duncans, um, but don't be put off by that just because they are their own. They rock. But we don't talk and play guitar at the same time because that's just bad practice. <laughs> so we're not going to do that. Yeah. So, yeah, there you have it. They come in a variety of colours. Check on our website or check on the Fuji Gen website. Get in contact with us on our Facebook page. You could do that. On our Instagram, on our Twitter, on our website, or you could pick up the phone. Oh, give these guys a call. Oh, there's a thought. There's I've a heard classic of one of those. Yeah, there's an old school way of doing things. Yeah, if you Google it, telephone. Yeah, yeah. It'll, <laughs> it'll come up. It's it's amazing. Some old school tech there. But yeah. Fuji Gen, we've spoken about them before, they are just remarkably good, they have been making guitars since the 70s, they are one of the most famous factories, it's the factory name, it's in Fuji Gen, they've built for the highest of the highest, at the moment they're making the prestige range for Ibanez, mm. and I mean you are talking top top notch guitars, yes. um, and to be honest, qualities incredible. So this is the thing that got me, um, when I first played the guitar the quality of it was obviously, it, it was not unassuming, you looked at the product and you were like this is obviously a high-end guitar um, and that's not just because of the quality of the finish and the components and obviously that it's built in Japan but the price point it's £449 for a completely Japanese made instrument. No, so, sorry, I, I missed that. £449 Wow. For a, for a fully Japanese made instrument. Let's yeah, send it yeah. there. Let's send it there. Yeah, done. It's, it's done and dusted. Yeah. The, the, the phone's ringing now. Yeah. I think we've sold this one. Hello, we've sold we'll it. try and get some more. No, seriously, that is cracking, cracking bit of kit. That's the thing, yeah. Satin, natural finished maple neck, which is really smooth. It's got a slight D to it. It's a little, little bit of a flat on the back there, and it's a bit sensual. And you just want to play it. It's, All D's are sensual. Yes, absolutely. Uh, little switch there for tap because we've got a humbucker in there, so HSS, five-way switch, master volume, master tone, hard tail. So yeah, no nonsense through body, what a rocking guitar that is. And even at this level, they still include the CFS. Circle fretting system. Ooh, what is it again? So the circle fretting system. Exactly. <laughs> so what they've actually done with these guitars, instead of these frets going straight across the neck like every traditional guitar, They've taken a radius from this point and it is curved. Not that way. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. But that way. Yeah. So that the string length from the nut to the 12th fret and indeed to here, but more importantly to the 12th fret to the intonation point, is the same there as it is there, which you wouldn't be on the straight fret because the fan of the fan of the strings goes out, making these longer mm -hmm. than these, compensated by the CFS. Mm -hmm. Genius. Absolute genius. Clever chaps. Yeah, really, really cool little thing there. Would you like to have a stroke? I'd love to have a stroke. There you go, sir. Yeah, yeah. Have a good. feel. I mean, <laughs> yeah, for £400. Yeah. I mean, any, there, uh, I don't know any £400 all Japanese made instruments other than the FGM stuff. Nope. Off the top of my head, I no, really don't. There's nobody out there. You have to spend over £1,000. If you want anything from FGM, you have to spend over £1,000. Yep. Um, in terms of, sorry, the actual factory Fujigen, you have to spend over £1,000 to get yourself a Prestige Ibanez. And for 400 quid to have something come out of the same factory and it be all Japanese made, including the pickups and everything, easy, easy choice for me, especially when the quality of this instrument is so high. Mm. 
Yeah, sure. I mean, the, the fret edges, everything is... Yeah, it's all rolled off. Out There's the box. No shop, yeah. yeah, that's, I mean, as they come, they mm. are just sweet. Awesome. Well, should we, should, we, should we hear it? Yeah, let's, cool. let's do some stuff. All right. Okay, we're going to do the, the clean sounds first on this one. Um, and I want to just talk, and don't normally talk and play, but we're going to talk between them because I need to explain what is going on because this is quite a phenomenal thing. Uh, I'm starting off on the bridge pickup here. Very clean, very mellow um, on the middle. As you'd expect, gets a little bit more spike. Then going onto the bridge, you know we've got this split on here, which is awesome. A lot of the splits I hear go a little bit of a weedy humbucker. So you go from a humbucker to a, I don't know, one and a half coils. But this thing is, that's the single. And full humbucker. Now you might not always get the significance of that, but if I put it back to single and go into the midway position there, so we're between these two now, you have got from that to that but the flick of the switch is pretty amazing so when we said versatile earlier now you know what I'm talking about down at my feet I've got Josh's magic pedal which we've probably told you about we'll tell you about again in a minute I'm gonna go on the neck on a clean and then add a bit of Joss Okay, well, um, when it comes to sort of humbucker single single guitars, I was never like a big fan because I, I always wanted a humbucker in the neck. But due to some recent events of some guitars that I've been playing recently, um, I've had a Japanese humbucker single single mm -hmm. guitar and it has 100% become my favorite guitar to play. Um, just because, because I like the metal stuff and the heavier stuff, I've got that. <laughs> bridge humbucker yep. for the heavy stuff and I usually stick with that for the solo stuff as well but the cool thing is if I go to the neck I've instant Inve mounts it and right? the face to go with it uh, I, I, I pull unbelievable crazy faces we weren't going to comment on that though. Um, <laughs> the only company to not comment on my face <laughs> while I'm playing but it has come to an end unfortunately um, 
I've got instant Ingve Malmsteen style yeah. of things. And being a massive Japanese guitar player fan, a lot of my favorite guitar players, Sayu from Galanerius and um, uh, what's his name, Takayashi Uhumura, who plays in a band called Baby Metal and stuff like that. Um, he's got a signature ESP, which is humbucker a single single and then a yeah. single 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 version. And all of those guitars and guitar players to me are unbelievably innovative yeah. guitarists and they all use this configuration. Well, as you've just heard, clean and overdriven it's yeah it's a versatile guitar it's, that's, that's it say. it's a working tool it's that's a tool it. we've got lots of guitars that are quite specific if you buy a guitar for a a job great mm -hmm. if you're doing a bit of everything if you're in a, a session musician position mm -hmm. or if you're in a covers band that's going to cover pretty much every bass you need, isn't yeah. it? You can do your funk, your soul, as you've heard, and you can do your, your shreddy, shreddy stuff as well. As well as if you are doing what I'm doing, if you're doing YouTube or demonstrational work in general, having a guitar with a humbucker single single is yeah. a really, really, really essential piece of equipment, I think. Instead of changing between, you can do it if you want. I've seen other guys do it. A Les Paul, then a Strat, and then a Tele. I can literally sit here and do a full pedal demonstration on one guitar. Yeah. So, yeah, really, really cool guitars. Really cool guitars. Fuji Gen. Fuji Gen. You heard it here first. We might not have done actually because they've been around since the seventies. <laughs> I'm Graham. This is Josh underscore Alan underscore, and we're at Badlands Guitars in Brighton. We've got a website. We've got a Facebook. We've got an Instagram. We've got most of it. Just check us out. We're out there. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much for listening. And bye, bye. Sayonara.